Hi there guys and welcome to my very first tutorial in Swift. Today I'm going to create a simple login app uh, using hard-coded credentials. Okay, so let's create a new extra project. <clears throat> uh, choose single view application. Uh, the name you can simply add login app or whatever we want to use core data. We press next. Uh, choose the folder. Okay, so here's our application. Simply run it to run it on a simulator on iPhone 6s Plus. Okay, let's wait uh, for the XO to build the application. After the build succeeds, your uh, simulator will start. And here is your blank application. So what should we do? Go in main storyboard. We have to create some uh, simple inputs where the user is going to enter a username, a password and press a button. Okay, so let's search for a text field. Simply drag the text field in the middle of the screen. Okay, another text field uh, for the password. So let's make it the same size. And one more thing, we need that button. Simple, drag it here. I usually double click it and rename it to login. Okay. I'm going to use this functionality reset to suggest its constraints so I don't have to manually do them. So let's uh, create some placeholders so we know the purpose of each text field. We are going to secure this input. So let's run the application again. You can see the build succeeds. And here is our product, email and password. Command K, the keyboard will toggle. Okay. As you can see, this view controller points to the class view controller, which is this default. So let's split the view. Come on. I have to do a computer upgrade, as you can see. Okay, let's go to login app, uh, main storyboard, main storyboard base. What we want to do is to drag this text field in the V controller, name it email text field. We have another text field, it's password text field, text field. Password text field. Okay. Let's do some properties here. Uh, let username be Robert and let password be password. Okay, we're not going to use any encryption here, we are going to use only string uh, verification. Then drag this button here and uh, connection do it action because we need to catch the event and name it login uh, button. So when the user presses login, we will simply catch the event here and let's do a test. Let's get the password text field and email text field value. Oh, before that, uh, let's set the password text field. Uh, to be secure text entry then we can see what the user enters. So let's do a simple verification. So if uh, the email text field dot text equals with username and password text field dot text equals with our password, then let's print you logged in. Let's do it otherwise. Let's print. Try again. Let's compile and run our program. So our credentials are Robert and password. So let's enter here Robert and password. As you can see, the secure text entry. Login. Try again. What? Oh. 
it's uh, case sensitive. Login, you logged in as you can see here. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching and see you later.